Hi there, my name is Anthony Allen. You're tuned into my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your video editing, hints, tips, tricks, tutorials, and more with a sprinkle of technology in there, as well as teaching you guys how to video edit using Final Cut Pro 10, AKA Final Cut Pro X. And here in this video, I'm going to show you how you can record a voiceover within Final Cut Pro easily within a couple of seconds shouldn't take you too long and it should save you a lot of headache in terms of that post-production magical touch that you want to put on your projects using a voiceover so without further ado i'm about to show you my screen with final cut pro x and i'm about to teach you how to record a voiceover in a couple of seconds well, you can record longer than a couple of seconds, but what I mean is it's going to take you a couple of seconds to set up the process in order to record your voiceovers. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm about to show you my screen so you can learn how to do this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to record a voiceover within Final Cut Pro X directly into your project. So what you want to do from here is you want to go up to the tabs and then click Window. From here, you can find record voiceover and next to it, you will also see the shortcut to click to directly open this window. But if you can't do that shortcut and you don't understand it, you can just simply go up to window and click record voiceover. This will then open up a window that you can then tamper with or, or adjust for your type of voiceover. One thing that I like to do is I like to bring the input gain down just slightly. From there, you can actually see the microphone that I'm using. This input will be available to you as well if you've got a microphone inserted. If not, you then just use the uh, system, uh, the normal built-in microphone. You can also start a countdown with your voiceover. I like to do this, it counts down from three. Three, two, one, and then you can record. Muting your project will basically mute any other sound within your project which I have sound here, so that you can focus on what you're saying. And if you've got headphones on, you won't be able to hear anything else within your headphones. You also will not hear any other sound from your project. With this deselected, you will actually hear everything within your project. You can create an audition from takes, but that will leave for another time. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to check mute project while recording, countdown to record, with our microphone inserted and let's give this a name so you can see what this record this voiceover is called let's call it vo1 or v.01 v.0 is actually an acronym for voiceover okay so let's get started what you want to do is you want to make sure that your your playhead is in the right place to begin your voiceover and then from there you want to get ready to click record hello there this is match of the day and today we're going to be talking about manchester united versus man city So there we have it, I have just recorded a voiceover. So let's hear it back. For now, I'm going to completely mute these two clips below and let's play our voiceover so we can hear what it sounds like. Three, two, one, and press spacebar to continue. Hello there, this is Match of the Day and today we're going to be talking about Manchester United versus Man City. That was very quick, very easy, but what you will notice is when you're actually finishing the recording, you will hear a click. As you just heard, that was me pressing the space bar as it doesn't actually finish recording until you've pressed stop. But you can actually hear yourself pressing stop if you have your mouse or space bar close to the microphone or sound source device that you're using. So this just requires you to just cut that out. What you can then do is you can use whatever you like afterwards. You can reverse the sound, add filters and so forth. In my case, what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of the sound effects that I have here in this project to give it just some more context. And let's hear it back. Hello there, this is Match of the Day. And today we're going to be talking about Manchester United versus Man City. This would just then just require a few different adjustments so that you can hear what's being said in your voiceover and so forth. Let's hear that again. 
Hello there, this is Match of the Day and today we're going to be talking about Manchester United versus Man City. A very quick and easy way to record your voiceovers within Final Cut Pro 10. So there we have it, that is how you record a voiceover within Final Cut Pro 10 aka Final Cut Pro X. I told you it wouldn't take long at all. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Give me a thumbs up if this has been helpful to you or you've just genuinely enjoyed watching the video to let me know that this is the type of video that you want to see here on my channel. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I have uploads here on Anthony Allen Edits daily with help videos like this that should help you with your video editing. You've been watching Anthony Allen Edits. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video here on my channel. So before we leave, let's have a look at some of the bloopers and mistakes that I've made while recording this video. Three, two, oh, I don't need to burp. Hi there, my name's Anthony Allen, you tuned, stop. My name's Anthony Allen, this is my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your video editing, hints, tips, and tricks, as well as so hopefully that has been really really helpful to those of you who have always wanted to record a voiceover straight into your project here on Final Cut Pro with ease, with no hassle, crystal clear quality. There we have it. Now stop. <laughs> so there we have it. That is how you record a 